from the students of Penn State Meteorology, here is your Penn State Campus Weather Service forecast. Good afternoon, I'm Dana Osgood from the Penn State Campus Weather Service and here I have your CNET Tuesday afternoon forecast. Taking a look over Beaver Stadium, it's pretty overcast out there, and I have a feeling a lot of us know why, and that is because of Hurricane Ida, which we're going to get into talking about a little bit later. But as of right now, it is currently 77 degrees in our area, dew point around 63, which is pretty normal for this time of year. However, it does feel less humid than it did for the past couple of days. It was getting pretty oppressive out there, so we have a little bit of a relief from the humidity today, though not a whole lot. As for temperatures around our area, looking around the upper 70s to mid 80s for most of the state, and that goes the same for a lot of New England as well. Cooler than it has been for the past couple of days, but this is much more normal for this time of year in our area. Now if we take a look at some of the dew points, looking pretty normal again for this time of year this week before the storm is going to be pretty average for today with dew points in the mid to upper 60s, which is humid, you can definitely feel it if you've been outside today, but it's not oppressive like the past couple of days, which have had dew points in the upper 70s, which is definitely very, very humid. And same goes for most of the state. Dew Boy is looking pretty good over there at a 58 degree dew point, which is probably the least humid out of our area. However, it is not, it's still pretty humid out there. As taking a look on the radar, you can see that we have some showers that are starting to build into the western portion of the state, which is going to come into our area tonight. And if we take a look at a wider image, we're going to see that this is actually kind of the first leg of Ida. It is finally moving into our area, and most of the storm is going to come in for tomorrow. So if we take a look at a more hourly forecast, we can see, look at all of that red and orange in there. That is a lot of heavy rain. So you're definitely going to need an umbrella and possibly some rain boots because tomorrow there is a flash flood advisory. So that's definitely something to keep in mind if you're going out or if you're driving to be cautious and to definitely not drive through flooded roads. Most of the rain is going to go through the eastern portion of the state and it's going to stay rainy a lot longer for there. So most of our rain is going to come through the day on Wednesday, making Thursday and Friday a beautiful day for us in State College and for most of Pennsylvania once Hurricane Ida moves out of our area. Look at that for Thursday night into Friday, not a cloud in the sky. Certainly beautiful. And now if we take a look at our rain totals, Looking down at Johnstown, it's projected to be almost six inches of rain, which has the potential to be record-breaking, which is very, very interesting. State College looking at around four inches, though there is a capability for more depending on the track of the storm as it moves over tonight. And Allentown looking at around four inches, so you can definitely see the swath of where most of the storm is going to be in that red color right through the middle of the state. All right, and taking a look at tonight, rain from Ida begins with a low around 61, winds from the southwest 10 to 15 miles an hour. And for our forecast tomorrow, heavy rain from Ida, as we saw in the radar earlier, winds again from the west from 10 to 15 miles an hour, with a high only around 65. Might need to start breaking out my sweaters at that rate. And taking a look at our seven day forecast, we see the remnants of Ida coming in on Wednesday, though it does break up a bit for Thursday and Friday. Saturday and Sunday, we do have a little bit of cloud cover moving in. Sunday, there is a slight chance of storms, though that is a little bit too far in the future to really get a good handle on that. And it does begin to heat up later in the week, back to more seasonable temperatures for this time of year. From the Penn State Campus Weather Service, I'm Dana Osgood. Have a wonderful afternoon.